want to do now is install the driver to allow us to use Firefox. So I'm going to install Firefox and I'm going to install the Gecko driver. But to start with, I need to download a project that will help us test this and make sure that we've got everything installed correctly. So on GitHub, I'll download the Start Using Selenium Web Driver project, which is just a sample project I've written. And then I'm going to import that into the IDE. Same way we've done with various JUnit projects, I'll import the Start Using Selenium Web Driver project. And I'm mainly doing this just to check that the project has the right version of Selenium Web Driver that I want to use. So I'm going to import Maven projects automatically, take all the defaults, the SDK should be installed because we did that when we were setting up JUnit. And I'm mainly going to look at the pom.xml and check that it references the right version of WebDriver. So this is talking about Selenium 2.53.1. So if I go off to the Selenium WebDriver homepage, which is seleniumhq.org, now at the moment, Selenium is pushing the version 3 beta. I don't want to use the version 3 beta, I want to use the stable release, which is 2.53.1. And that's the version that's in the pom.xml, so I don't have to make any changes here, so that project is good. So now I just concentrate on installing Firefox and the Firefox driver. So Firefox, I'm just going to go off to the official Firefox download page, download it and install it like any other application. But in order to use it for WebDriver, I have to download the Gecko driver. Now if I had downloaded version 45, the extended support version, I wouldn't need to download Gecko driver. I've downloaded the most up-to-date version of Firefox, so that means I need to download the Mozilla Gecko driver. The Marionette Gecko driver. Now the install instructions are here, it basically says download the executable, then add it into your path. So we're going to download the executable. Now I'm not using version Selenium 3, so I need version 0.9. And I'll download that. So I'm just going to unarchive that and copy it into a folder. It doesn't really matter where you put it. For the moment, I'm just creating a new folder in downloads for my web drivers. And I'm going to copy the Gecko driver into a Firefox folder so that I know it's the driver for Firefox. I'm just getting the path for the folder that I installed it in. Now I'm going to edit my bash profile to export that path as part of the system path. So I'm basically copying in the string that was on the marionette install page, which basically says export path with the current system path and my path that I've put the Gecko driver into appended on the end. So if I type in the path that I put the Gecko driver in, which was slash users slash Allen slash download slash web driver slash Firefox, and add that onto the system path, then web driver will be able to find it and I won't have to do any other tweaks or installs when I'm starting off using WebDriver with Java. Now the one thing I do have to do is, with Selenium 3, it will look for Gecko Driver, but Selenium 2.53.1 looks for wires. So I have to rename Gecko Driver to wires, and then when I run the test from the command line, with Miven test minus D test equals my first test FF48, it will be able to run the test and we'll be able to use WebDriver from the command line. Now we're going to install Chrome from the, just go off to the official Google Chrome website, download that and install it like any other application. Then 
In order for us to use the Chrome from WebDriver, we need to download the Chrome driver. So I go off to the sites.google.com, a chromium.org Chrome driver. That's the official site for the Chrome driver. And it'll tell me what the current version is. Current version here is 2.24. I'll click on that. Then I'll download the 2.24 version. Download the Mac version. Then I'll just unzip it and move that Chrome driver executable into the web drivers folder that we created earlier. So I'm going to create a Chrome folder in here, move the Chrome driver in. Then all I have to do is add the path where I put the Chrome driver into my normal system path. So I'll edit my bash profile again, and then just do another export for my Chrome path. So I'll do export path with the current system path with my Chrome downloads web driver folder on the back. So then in the folder that I've downloaded my start using Selenium web driver project, I can type maven test minus D test equals my first Chrome test. And that will run the test in that project that is set up to use the Chrome driver. Then Chrome will start, we'll go off to the website and everything is set up correctly for the Chrome driver. So now I'm going to install this project into the IDE or I'm going to run the test from the IDE. This is the final check to make sure everything is set up correctly. We've run the test from the command line. All I'm doing now is reopening the project in the IDE. Let it do its indexing and whatever else it needs to do before it starts running. Then I'm going to right click on the test in here and run them. If I had installed Firefox 45 extended release version, I would run my first test. I've installed the most up to date version of Firefox and the Mozilla driver. So I'm going to run my first test FF48 from the IDE. So that's worked from the IDE. So the next thing is to try the My First Chrome test. Now there's no reason for these things to fail because we've already run them from the command line. For this, just to double check that we've set everything up in the IDE. Now we're ready to write WebDriver tests. Oh.